74 days till the draft. Let's take a look at the 74th overall pick from 2001. Selected by the Panthers out of Utah, that man was wide receiver Steve Smith in 01. The four-time Pro Bowler has 50 career receiving touchdowns. Yes, only 74 days till the draft. That means Mike Mayock is excited and looking forward to the 2010 draft class. Mike, from wide receivers to defensive tackles, I'm setting you up for what you see as the best position in this year's draft. Paul, I love this year's defensive tackle class. In, in a typical year, seven to eight defensive tackles will go in the first three rounds. This year, you could see 12 to 14 defensive tackles in the first three rounds. And what I really like is there's quality at the top end, but there's depth throughout. So when you take a look at my top five defensive tackles, you're going to see Gerald McCoy, number one, and Dominican Sue, number two. I don't care what order they're in. They're the two best players in the country. At number three, Jared Odrick from Penn State. He can play defensive tackle on a four-man front, but watch out. A lot of the 3-4 teams like him at the five technique, which is the defensive end. At number four, Dan Williams. Powerful interior presence from the University of Tennessee. A nose shade, a nose tackle, could also play some three technique. And Brian Price from UCLA, a junior. He's a guy that I've just watched a bunch of tape on and come away highly impressed. So, Paul, I can see at least four of those guys going in the first round and maybe even all five. Now, Mike, you just said that you don't care what order McCoy and Sue are in. However, I got to ask, why do you have McCoy listed ahead of Sue? Personal preference, Paul. Uh, I look at McCoy and I see the most disruptive force coming out of the draft as far as an interior defensive lineman in years. He's got a little bit of Warren Sapp to him, a little bit of Tommy Harris to him. He's explosive. He's disruptive. He's clean off the field. And in my opinion, he's a guy that those one-gap penetrating fronts are going to love. Now, Sue, on the other hand, he reminds me of Kevin Williams from the Vikings. And Kevin Williams has been one of the most dominant defensive players in the NFL since he's been in the league. Sue's a guy that can play any front. And both of these guys, Paul, can play three downs. They don't get tired. They play a lot of snaps. They can push the pocket. Sue pushes the pocket with strength, where McCoy's a little bit more quick. So it's really what flavor do you want? But in my opinion again, Paul, they're 1 and 1A, one and then there's a big fall off after that. So many teams now playing at 3-4, and even 4-3 teams going with 3-4 looks throughout their games. The, uh, the demand for nose tackles seems to be at an all-time high. With that in mind, what's the latest on Alabama's Terrence Cody? Well, what you see is what you get, and it wasn't real pretty at the Senior Bowl at the weigh-in. You're talking 6'4", 370 pounds, and every team in the league knows it's going to be a battle to get him down to fighting weight, A, and then keep him there, B. So at what point, and I think it's going to be somewhere in the second round, a team's going to take him as a two-down defensive tackle. He can't push the pocket, and once he gets outside that A-gap area, he can't move at all. He's surprisingly nimble, though, laterally in that A and B gap area. Now, the guy that really helped himself at the Senior Bowl was Cam Thomas from the University of North Carolina, 6'4", 331 pounds. And to me, the three, four teams, Paul, are going to love him. You can line him up kind of like Ron Brace out of Boston College last year. You can line him up at the nose. You can kick him out to the defensive end, known as the five technique. And he could probably play all three positions in that 3-4. There's some value there, and you don't have the big downside like you have with Cody in the weight. And, Mike, I know from sitting next to you the entire week in Mobile that your list of impressive defensive tackles down there goes way beyond Cody and Thomas. Yeah, and let's get outside a little bit to the three technique guys, the quick disruptive players. And, you know, Tyson Alu Alu from Cal was a guy that really caught my eye, A on tape and then B at the Senior Bowl. And Cal is one of the few college teams in the country that plays a 3-4. So he was miscast as a defensive end. When they kicked him inside at the Senior Bowl, man, he was disruptive. So Tyson Alu Alu I see in the second round. And Lamar Houston from the University of Texas. Another guy, you put the tape on, you expect to see Sergio Kendall flash, Rod Muckleroy flash. The guy who I really liked was Lamar Houston. He weighed in a little heavier than I expected at 302 pounds, but if you put the tape of the national championship game on, you'll see number 33 flash all over throughout the game. Mike Mayock, thank you very much. You got it, Paul.